Hello, Caleb Pearson here with Compass Financial Services. I'm one of the owners and advisors here. And today I wanna to talk about credit scores. I don't know about you, but I've noticed more and more lately that I find my credit score everywhere. When I log into my bank account, my credit card, the budgeting app that I use, it's always there and available. Heck, I even get email updates when my credit score goes up two points or, or down two points. And so you've probably experienced this too. It's becoming a lot easier to find. And so what I want to talk about today is what a credit score is, why it's important, and how it's calculated. So as you maybe already know, a credit score is what lenders use to determine how much risk you are as a borrower. So the higher your score, the better likely you are to get a better rate, uh, get approved for a loan. The lower your score, the more likely you are to be denied for a loan or have a higher interest rate. And so that's important, right? You know, when you're going to apply for a mortgage or an auto loan, a credit card, you wanna make sure that you're getting approved and by having a good credit score, you're more likely to get approved for those types of things. We're finding it's more important though in other areas of your life as well. For example, Bree, who's behind the camera right now, she recently applied for an apartment. And when she applied, they checked her credit. Because her credit score was above a certain level, she didn't put, have to put down a security deposit. That's great, right? I mean, that's $500, $600 that she didn't have to give them and to hold on to for a year and probably not give her back. So uh, that's one example of what having a good credit score can do for you. There are other places that look at your credit score. Uh, employers, depending on where you live, are allowed to check your credit. Uh, you have to sign off on it to make sure, but um, they can look and see what your credit score is and that helps them to determine how good you are with managing money. Uh, other things like insurance companies, um, Employers, like I said, apartments, banks, even just to open a checking account, sometimes will look at your credit score to see how likely it is that you may uh, overdraw your account. So those are different areas of why it's important. I'm gonna briefly talk about how it's calculated too. So if you do have a low credit score, these may be areas that you can work on to improve your credit score. So they look at five different things. The first thing is your payment history. Uh, how have you been making payments? Are you making payments? Have you missed a bunch of payments? If you've missed a lot of payments, that will hurt your credit score. It makes up about 35% of their calculation, so over a third, so that's a big deal, making sure you make your payments. 30% of the score is based on how much you owe. So if you have $20,000 of available credit, are you using all 20,000 of that and rolling it over month after month, or are you only using a portion of that and paying it off every month? Uh, 15% is based on your history. So the longer your credit history is, the more data they have to work off of. 10% is how, what type of credit you have, whether it's revolving or uh, installment loans or new credit. Another 10% is based on how, um, how much credit you've gotten within the last you know, six to 12 months. If you've taken out five credit cards in the last six months, then they, they frown upon that because they think you're taking out too much. So those are all things to think about. If you want to talk about this or any other type of personal finance questions, we'd be happy to help you out here. Our website is compassiowa.com, or you can call us or text us at 515-327-1020. Thanks.